Gary Whitta, who wrote the Denzel Washington film The Book of Eli, and finished his draft of the upcoming standalone Star Wars movie to be released in December of next year and has departed the project. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Whitta said the following, The year I spent working with Lucasfilm on this Star Wars film has been by far the most rewarding period of my entire career. As a lifelong Star Wars fan, I'm deeply grateful to have had the rare opportunity to contribute to a new chapter in its ongoing cinematic legacy. The film is going to be amazing. It's expected that a new writer will be attached soon. Schnapp, does changing writers in between drafts worry you? No, not at all. I mean, it happens all the time. I mean, even with Star Wars 7, what was that one guy, Arntz? He was, yeah. he was writing it, and they were like, ah, he was on it for a year, and then he got taken off and completely replaced. It's like, I'm sure the spine of whatever he was writing was there. I'm sure some of the dialogue might remain. It really depends. But you know, ultimately, the studio is like, "Hey, you know, we're working on this. Where everything's being made, and once the writer's on for a year and they're in pre-production, they're basically taking that script and building off of that script. They're making yeah. storyboard. They're making previs. So whatever he worked on, I mean, the, there's a ton of previs. There's a ton of things that are already established, and I'm sure there's some things that might remain from his script. It's probably not going to be a page one rewrite. It's just how it goes. Yeah, I think you've kind of nailed it on the head here. This this wasn't his film anyway. This is Gareth Edwards' film. Right. And so everything under the film is working towards serving the director and their vision of the film. So he takes that first draft that got handed in. He see, There seems to be no bad blood there. He loved working on it. I'm actually even getting the feeling this was planned all along, that he was going to write this one draft and then move on to his next project. And then Edwards was going to take that draft, get on another writer, work it, tinker it to the way Edwards wants it to be, and then move forward with it. And you're right, this isn't unusual. I've read a, a couple of Star Wars fan sites today that were really, really worried about this, that this might be a bad omen. And look, I'm not, you know I'm not a stick my head in the sand Star Wars fan. Uh, if there's something bad about the Star Wars universe, I won't go into it again, mm -hmm. but I will call it out. But this is nothing to be worried about whatsoever. I, I think it says nothing about it. Anyway, Mark, did you see any other way? I mean, yeah, I'm a little, I, I always get a little worried just because the little kid in me is like, no, it should be one guy, one guy writes it, one guy directs it and all those things. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want everything to be so simple. But when you look at it from a positive <laughs> standpoint, if we're doing the Abraham Lincoln model of filmmaking, where it's, no, let's have everybody come to the table. Let's have everybody's best idea. It is a lot easier to take the spine of what one guy did and then punch it up and so I like the fact that it's like hey this is where I think the story should have gone now let's have these other voices come in as long as it never gets to that point where studios have done before it's too many cooks in the kitchen and it's too many people's vision of what it should be I don't have that fear but of course I'm going to be a little worried when some guy who was on a project isn't on it anymore hey everyone if you like this video click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC movie news YouTube channel it's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.